There's this guy, Chris, in my math class, and he is so fine. He asked for my screen name after class. I was telling my best friend Tanya about it after school when Jasmine came up to us. I got so nervous, my hands got all sweaty. Jasmine's always got a hand on me for no reason. She's all, what's wrong with us? Are we talking about her? Tanya tells her about Chris, and Jasmine says, what's a guy like Chris went with someone like Latasha? My heart started pounding real hard. She says, didn't you wear those jeans yesterday? They should call you Latrasha, because you dress like trash. Tanya could have at least had my back. Jasmine's been pushing me around for so long. I don't know. I mean, maybe she's right. Why would he like me? I have messed up clothes, no money. God knows what he'd think of me if he found out my dad's in prison. Maybe they're all making fun of me behind my back. I moved here last year when my dad went to prison. I started chilling with Tanya and Tanya's best friends with Jasmine. So I had to hang with her too. But she always made me nervous. You can never tell if she loves you or hates you. You have to do what she wants. She can ruin your life. Last year, this girl Felicia started being friends with Jasmine's boyfriend. Jasmine got everyone to turn on her and Felicia got so worn down, she switched schools. Now it's like I'm the new Felicia. And all Jasmine wants to do is make my life hell. I was on AIM at Tanya's later, hoping Chris was on. I don't know his screen name, so when a new message showed up, I got real happy. But then I saw the screen name, Latrasha Bitch. All this nasty stuff came out. How ugly I am, how I'm fat, everyone hates me, I'm trashy, how Chris will never like me. It's gotta be Jasmine. And then, it said I'm gonna end up in prison just like my trashy dad. Tanya's the only one who knows about my dad. The only one. She wouldn't even look at me. Tanya takes Jasmine's side a lot, but I thought she was my friend, and now everyone would know about my dad. My head started pounding. I thought I was gonna puke. The next day, I saw Jasmine talking to Chris, and when she saw me, she yelled out, Hey, Latrasha. People started laughing. It's like everywhere I went, there was Jasmine. So after that, I told my mom I was sick. And I was sick. I stayed home for three days. My headache wouldn't go away. I was so nauseous. Just thinking about Jasmine and Tanya and Chris and everyone at school made me sick. Then the school counselor called. My mom was at work, so I talked to him. Tanya told him about Jasmine. My stomach flipped. If Jasmine gets in trouble, she'll blame me. Who knows what she'll do to me next? The counselor said I have to come to school for a meeting or else I could get suspended for skipping school. I can't even tell you how nervous I was before the meeting. I thought I was going to get suspended or something. But the counselor told me that all that stuff Jasmine was doing to me, calling me Latrasha, getting everyone to turn on me, lying, all that stuff was bullying and just as bad as if she was beating me up. The counselor said the school has a policy against every kind of bullying. And if Jasmine starts doing it again, I should come talk to him, not stay home from school. Jasmine had to meet with the counselor too. People said they can hear her yelling out in the hallway. She got suspended, and if she keeps at it, she could get expelled too. After the meetings, Jasmine was still really mean, but more people started ignoring her because they were sick of putting up with her. I try to ignore her too. Tanya and I are a lot closer now. She says she was sorry for telling Jasmine about my dad. I'm still a little nervous about Jasmine. I feel better knowing I can stand up for myself, and other people have my back too. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Nobody deserves to be bullied. Bullying can happen to anyone. It can include anything from attacking, 
beating up and fighting, to name calling, threatening and spreading rumors. If you know someone is being bullied, stick up for the person. Doing nothing says you think it's okay to be bullied. If you're being bullied, you don't have to handle it yourself. Reach out for help, and remember, you're not alone.